afternoon. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> we daily vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, come on back tomorrow. We've had we a... the beginning of the end has arrived. Right. We had a little Stacy scare this morning. And that was reported that she was no longer on her normal channel. But she's been found. For the time being. So there, there was two must-do Disney channels. There was like channel 4, I think, which mm -hmm. was must-do Disney. Then channel 73 on the resort TVs that was must-do Disney dubbed in Spanish. Apparently, it's not on channel 4 anymore. It's just a bunch of like Disney commercials. But the dubbed Spanish version on Channel 73 has been put to the English right. version. So she's still there. So for now, but I feel like... I feel like those first couple of channels are like the main channels. Yeah, I feel like they're doing that so... Because they can't keep it on there even for nostalgic reasons because it's got not right information. Right. So I feel like they put it on Channel 73 to like warn the diehards out there that it's, <laughs> it's coming. Or... Somebody had pointed out that maybe they were just putting it there until more things are open. Because we even said, like, while we were on our staycation, like, how much of this is actually inaccurate right now? there's a right lot now. of it that will never be accurate again. Right. So. I'm scared. That's, that's how we started our day. <laughs> my ridiculously work day which isn't as bad as a normal monday so that's good especially not as bad as last monday is being interrupted because i believe a package arrived for myself what it's really it's just for me i think you can share it but you never want it what is that oh i had all kinds of fun stuff in the mail first of all got my vote by mail ballot so that's exciting it's the first time i'm ever going to do that and here we go this is super cute Gooder always has the cutest like packaging, but look at this little pouch. These are replacement lenses. I think for, I think those are lenses, replacement pair of lenses for this pair. You see that scoff right there? And then when I put in a warranty on this pair, apparently these were limited editions, so they requested me just like submit another version that they currently sell. And I think I got a Ginger Soul, which is, should just be the, these similar ones, but with a black lens with a black frame. Let's see. Oh, these are some men in black style glasses. I love them. But now the question is, do I take these replacement lenses and put them in the pair they're supposed to go into or put them in the white pair? I think Sarah will help me. I think the black, but we'll see. So I actually have a late acupuncture session today at six. It's just before five now, so I am going to get our leftovers situated. I'm also gonna make a little quinoa to put the rest of our red sauce on top of it's like the last day that we can eat that we don't have a ton left um but i'm actually gonna make similar salsa that i made the other night when i made the burrito bowls it was more like pico de gallo style and i'm actually gonna use the food processor because we leave later this week i want to make sure that we use all of our protein protein produce um before we go and so I'm gonna make this salsa, and if we have some, we might bring it on the road. Um, or I might eat it all. Alrighty, I got all my ingredients. I have more tomatoes if I have to add them. I don't think I'm gonna use all of these jalapeno peppers because they are spicy ones, like this bag especially. I just realized that the vlog that we lost all the footage from included a day where I used jalapenos, I chopped jalapenos, and my hands burned so bad i we realized why it happened i must have had some remnants like left under my ring because that's where it started and then we went to hollywood studios that night and i was continuously hand sanitizing so like like using the alcohol spreading it across my hands rubbing it into my hands literally when we went to bed that night i couldn't sleep because my hands hurt so bad i tried so many different remedies finally I just like fell asleep and woke up and it was better. So I'm gonna go put gloves on before I chop these up again. But they're like, I've never had that happen to me ever and I've cooked with jalapenos so many times. Um, if anybody has any like thoughts or remedies of their own that they've used, let me know just in case it does happen in the future. But I've been cutting these ones up with gloves so it doesn't happen again. And then 
minced garlic and sea salt. Fresh garlic would be better, but we don't have any. And lime juice. Alrighty, here is my salsa. I ended up using three tomatoes and two jalapenos to like chop together, really puree together. Um, but then I added one more tomato in chopped because it was, it wasn't chunky enough for me. And as for the other ingredients, I used one and a half limes, a decent amount of salt, like just a little palm full of salt, and then two cloves of garlic. Guess who's back from the, I would say dermatologist, <laughs> the acupuncturist. Me. Eva's been waiting by the door so loyally. <laughs> it was good. The whole time. It's a good session. It was a little shorter, but it was good. The evening thunderstorm has begun, which is making me <laughs> concerned about my run again later, because once again, I didn't run in the morning. Typically, it's like, I mean, like, my whole life of vacationing here and whatnot, it's been like, more like three o'clock storms, but for some reason, this summer, it's been like nighttime storms. I know. We're going to go hop back in, uh, strangey bangy Stranger Things? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Hear the thunder? And the adventure into Hawkins continues because I'm just going to cry that there's no HHN while we watch this. It is pouring again and it's like yellow. I wish it could sh it would show you how yellow it is outside. What makes it even creepier is that it's also storming in Stranger Things and our thunder keeps lining up. I actually have some more freelance work coming in guys. It's been a long time and I love this client and I love the work I'm doing, but I mean, it means that I'm gonna have to do work. The thunder is crazy, crazy loud. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll be able to tell you guys more about it. It's actually video editing and a whole bunch of stuff for really cool companies with really cool like tasks at hand. Um, so I hope eventually I'll get to show you guys. And then it's cool because it all kind of lines up with when I would be like on maternity leave. Um, but we'll see how it goes after. We plan on me being a stay-at-home mom, but if I have one or two clients that I do work for occasionally, that's cool too. But if you cool work too. in a corporate office and I'd be a stay-at-home dad, that's cool too. Yeah. Bye. Sorry, but <laughs> my client is on the other side of the world. Okay, the wind is picking up. It's also storming really bad in Chicago. And on that note, we've lost power. This is what our night has resorted to. I'm laying on the couch. <laughs> we do have that, that spooky candle going over there. Not necessarily, you just can't see her. We just watched Can a five minute see, video. Can you see any of like the reflections of the candle in my glasses? No. Oh. Peter just tortured me because he made me watch a video of the UK KFC menu versus the US KFC menu. And I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I used to have a K I used to live next door to a KFC and I was an aficionado. Okay, so this is where the night has and has gone. Sarah, I did a big mistake by putting on that video of the US KFC versus UK KFC because now I'm, I might be going to Popeyes to get Sarah chicken. She's having some internal struggles over there, but we have gone through the menu and we have an order. I just need to hit place and I'll go get her chicken. So I am using my phone's flashlight here. Um, somehow Peter is on his way into Popeye's. Oh my gosh. The thing is like we said months and months ago that we'd be okay eating something if we wanted it but we just like it was really far and few between and so like now I'm just feeling like it's happened a lot but we also are like telling ourselves if we want it we'll have it um so yeah I got a two-piece meal with mashed potatoes and a biscuit and a papa but while Peter's gone I'm going to start our road trip playlist what actually drew me to do this is that we love Macklemore. We've, we've talked about that before. We saw him in concert when he was at Mardi Gras at Universal. And there's two separate Macklemore playlists on Spotify. One is Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, and one is just Macklemore. 
and my main thing is I want to make a playlist with all of the songs we like because we have the songs that we like from each but then I just started singing some old school yellow card when Peter was leaving it's like I think I'm gonna jam to that and I'm like that would be good for a road trip playlist so this new playlist is gonna just turn into car jams here we go they still got power getting Sarah some chicken this is craving at its finest and I'm stealing some of her Pepsi Ayo, our power's back on. Peter's back with food. We're starting up Stranger Things again. He was sniffing things out. Oh gosh. I can't believe it's true. It's raining. <laughs> but it's not gonna stop until one. I'm not staying up until one to run, and I gotta run today. So, which I'm more comfortable because the radar looks all green and there hasn't been much lightning. So I don't feel like I'm endangering myself. <laughs> I just make to slow down depending on the slickness. Yeah, don't fall. So I'm gonna go do four miles, and Sarah's like, "You're really going?" And I was like, "Yeah, like, I, I gotta, like, I gotta go run. I gotta stay consistent." Or you gotta go in the morning. I gotta start going in the morning, but it, you know, running in the rain happens when you're when you're a trail runner, an ultra runner. You run in the rain. I'm gonna run on Antarctica. If I can run on Antarctica, I can run in some rain. If you can dodge a wrench, <laughs> you can dodge a ball. So while Peter's out on his run, I'm going to read, I set a timer to make sure that he's okay. Like I set in an hour, and if he's not home by then, then I need to like find him, make sure he's okay. Um, but it's just my worry wart coming out, not gonna lie. My stomach is a little queasy, but honestly, I'm happy that I did it. I would say that's my first time I ate chicken off the bone in a very, very long time. And I had to get out of my head a little bit while eating it, but it was like, it was the the breading that I really had a taste for. Um, but yeah, I, I, I dig me some Popeyes. I missed it for sure. Honestly, the biscuit was the best part. So, a couple miles in it was raining like real rain when i first started but now it's drizzling which you would think is better but now i almost take the down rain because when the down rain it was cool i could breathe but now that it's just this drizzle oh it's like breathing straight hhn fog house machine in your in your face it's a cool building over there that's a lake right there i4 stranger in a car no stranger in a car okay enough i gotta go i gotta get out of this do you want to know what the most heart to heart heart brook heart to air heart heart to heart that's our text message group between sarah myself ben and carolyn is i come back from my four mile rainy run to 17 plus text messages about fast food histories amongst ourselves and our love for it i both love and hate that my forever favorite fast food memory memory is um ten piece chicken nugget and super sized fry and coke from McDonald's. Whoa. Whoa, it is way too late. Side story. This puppy was sleeping in her bed over there and started making some sad noises and then her front paws were flickering like she was running and she was having a bad dream. So I had to wake her up and bring her over here. But we are two episodes left of Stranger Things season three. But it is also what time? 1.30 in the morning. We need to go to bed. I know. I'm downloading footage for this job. It's going to be and fun. And it'll be worth it to just, like, it's good to just do this sort of stuff when you're, like, mindlessly, when you're focusing on other stuff, but downloading things mindlessly. So yeah. Then I'll be able to work on it. Good and fresh tomorrow. Good. Um, message time? August 10th. A careful inventory of all your past experiences may disclose the startling fact that everything has happened for the best. Anonymous. Remember when the power went out and you had chicken? <laughs> it seems like a whole different day ago. This whole day feels like three days. I can't believe it's, it's only Monday. But it's a short week. Don't say that. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. You sounded like um, Neville. <laughs> 
He lives in our neighborhood, you know. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.